This is Thundering Metropolis, my entry for the Jam Gauntlet Contest, hosted by Jam Attack, and today, I'll be finishing this entire layout. So let's see what I made, and how I made it. Also, I know that it's been a while since the last video on this, I've been busy with a lot For making this first part, I actually streamed it on YouTube, and you can go watch the uncut stream in the description. So yeah, today we'll be building on this 3x speed cube part right here. 3x speed cube part. I wanted this part to feel very vast and open, as I had some very unique ideas for the decoration, which will be very cool to implement later on. Isn't this supposed to be like an insane demon or something? Yeah, and I'll have a very cool guy to verify this level. Whoa, maybe maybe not, the, not a red uh, orb. Isn't it very interesting how when we go on stream and this will be on the internet, all the topics of conversation just die. Very true, Sirithi. My commentary for most of this cube part was pretty subpar, but let's see if it'll fix itself later on. Let's say I'll just put like spikes on top of here, I guess. Maybe, but that's really rapid. Should I put like a slope here? But that just looks so cool. It's crazy that this is like the same length as a uh, fallen club okay what if i do this gimmick right here now what do i do here for some reason i haven't done any single like 2.2 game mode thingy here throughout the rest of this me and the guys just started rambling about random things so let's have a little montage about me structuring the parts also while i'm doing this i'll humbly ask you to please subscribe I spend a lot of time on these videos, like this one took over 2 months, so any support would be highly appreciated. I also have memberships, so smash that join button for tons of cool perks. And that's it for the first part, so let's see what that looks like so far. Unfortunately, my game crashed after this, so I had to redo this entire part. This part will be split up into a cube duel and a ship duel, and I did the cube duel first. Now we're gonna be working on this duel part and this final cube part right here. I kinda wanna make it so that it's symmetrical to keep it very simple. I'm pretty bad at making asymmetrical duels. Here I once again took inspiration from Glory's Fortress where I did this buffer gimmick and I spent a very very long time adjusting it and making it be as consistent as possible. Yeah, that works. Only problem is that this jump isn't a buffer so I'm gonna put a spike like this. Yeah, that's 100% impossible, so maybe do another platform right here. Let's say if I just copy-paste all of this gameplay to the bottom right here, there is one very immediate problem, and that is this click right here. The main problem with this is that this part is near the end of the level, and I don't want the ending to spike up in difficulty, so making this fair was very tough. So let's say I'll do the same type of sketchiness with the clicks right here, but I gotta do something more interesting here, so do I do this? So I have to jump off of this platform very late, which I guess I can insinuate with the e-spikes right here. I think I'll just stick to something like this, because I'm not gonna make this like an extreme demon. Since I still had some normal jumps that you couldn't just buffer, this was still pretty much an extreme demon, so I had to fix that later on. Copy, paste it, and flip it up here. Yeah, so you hit it very, very late doing some other stuff like this to close it in. I'm just doing a lot of spike spam right now. So right here, they hit a blue orb. I was gonna make it so that the top was only big, but that would be pretty hard for me to make. What was that? S what was that sound? Let's put the platforms down. 
then doing like a four spike jump right here or that would be kind of strange however so maybe i'll just take like a red orb here instead see if i hit them then they go into the portal a little bit too late so okay i guess i'll switch this out for a yellow orb instead Ooh, that's very good i really like that i then spent around 10 minutes both structuring and tweaking the part and there are some stuff that i want to change but i might rework that in the future but for now it's staying like this Now, I don't want any of this, like, stuff to change, so do I have it to be up here? I already had my first problem only 5 seconds into the recording. I had to make it so that the ship portals were free mode so that the boundaries didn't change that much, but that took a while to make work well, as a lot of other stuff in this level. So, for the beat, I want to at least do a few orbs and make these, like, interlap. Yes, so orb with platform, and then now you'll s rapidly switch from dual, no, mini to unmini, I guess. I kind of want to use slopes, but then I remembered, like, even if these slopes make some pretty good gameplay, they will be a pain for me to decorate. That would be very cool, but it would also be kind of a pain to, like, do... And I would like to put some, like, Made by Wooful stuff here. So maybe just do, like, I don't know, some straight fly. I then made this choke point, which sure might be pretty evil, but it's just click sync, so I guess I'll keep it. So I don't know what I feel about this. That. Maybe I'll remove the final one. You can tell that I'm struggling way more with this than everything else. But I don't know how I'm gonna like transition from this. Then with some pink pads right here. Ooh, I, f I finally made it work. So two spikes right here. Then with mini spikes as well. Then I'll just extend this to the other structures below. Just continue making symmetrical stuff. I mean, I'll, I'll take that. That's not really that hard. And I don't want this to be like a very choke point difficulty essencing level thing. Man, what am I even saying? Now I begin with the structuring for this part as well. But unlike the other parts, this actually had some very interesting moments in this, so I'll still keep some moments from the structuring. Another saw blade right here, I guess, with uh, some spikes. Sh should I just do this tiny saw blade? But can you ch just cheese all of this? Yes, you totally can. Oh god. It took a while to try to fix the skip, but I just added some spikes at the top to turn the easy skip into a difficult swag route. Like, yeah, that is just a very, very tight swag route. And I think it would be better, like more enjoyable if I made the saw blade this. So you can still do that like my uh, like stuff where you just fly over here. But that's an insane swag route. That's like a firework ship some stuff. I then spent around 5 minutes finishing the rest of the structuring before we were on to... But now, that means that we're at the final part of the level, which is this short Q part being similar to the one in Glorious Fortress. I'll do just basically the same gameplay, the cellar path, but a little bit easier. Just do this, and then copy paste it down. I had some problems with this ending, like the part of the song that I used was very short, so I had to do the final clicks very fast. And then instead of it being like a bl uh, uh, like trigger orb here, you'll take this dash orb and just go flying. 
and it's pretty consistent so yeah i guess i'll keep it as this but maybe i need to buff it later on to make it so that it's on par with the rest of the level i think i'll just like structure this big boy right here while i'm structuring this i'll just say thank you for watching this Really sorry that it's been a while since the last Jam Gauntlet video, but for now I'll stream most of the decoration and upload the highlights way sooner. I am a little bit nervous for the decoration process, but I have another level in an art style that's learned me a lot about this style. But let's get back to the actual level and see what I have to say. But with that, I can comfortably say that the entire gameplay for Thundering Metropolis is finally complete. Holy, this is long to cycle through. This is it. I might get someone to like playtest the final word version just to like check uh, the combined difficulty of all of this. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And well, let's get on to the final showcase.